So I've got a post bag today and it's a really freaking exciting one. So uh, if you've been following along with the other videos, then you'll know that I've been designing up the binary clock. Now, I've been doing that on stream quite a lot because it's a lot of fun. I enjoy doing that, um, even if it is very, very stressful. Um, but you guys make it worthwhile asking questions and enjoying the banter a bit. Anyway, we, we designed the board and I sent them off to print on the 6th of November. So it is the 14th today. These arrived yesterday. That meant that it took seven days and I ordered them late at night, as I do, uh, like at 11 p.m. or something. So in my time, it's been less than a week. So incredible, really. And just, I put the envelope here so you could see, but it's still the UPS saver. So it's the, the cheap, postage and we've got uh, the date that it was posted out is the 10th of November there. So they were made in four days, posted and arrived here uh, three days after leaving the States. So that is pretty impressive, I think. Uh, so yeah, there they are. These are them. These are them. These are them. <laughs> Let's focus in, shall we? That looks roughly focused, doesn't it? So they look quite nice, don't they? They're quite a lot smaller than I'd imagined. Um, I know that we sort of measured it on stream, but um, I don't know. In my head, it was, um, they're larger, but... So that's these. That's it. Now, the big problem is that I don't have all the blooming parts, do I? Because I expected it <laughs> to take like two weeks for these bad boys to be delivered. I do have some. Let me just go grab them. So originally, this was going to be an SMD project. Um, and then I changed it because the boards were going to be too expensive for a kit. And well, then I went out and <laughs> realized that um, the, the ICs and everything are going to be really expensive. Now these are, what have I done with that knife? These are the 4510 ICs. That's uh, CMOS. So these are about um, 23 quid for this roll. And this is 125 of these SMD CD4510, which are going to be going on the top of the board there. So, God, I hope they fit. Oh, God, they barely fit. They'll be fine. Oh, that's a 4060. There's a 4510. It's going to be all right. I hope. There's a lot of them here. So, I've got enough to make around 20 kits, hopefully. Maybe 19, because I've got to make one myself, and I need six for each thing. So, I don't know. We'll see. So 20 kits should be enough. It means I'm gonna to have to get more of these printed, but I've got the prototypes so that I can test it first. So um, once I've got some more parts, we'll do that properly. But I've got some other things in the post and I thought I'd share them with you. These two have arrived. I've sort of anonymized them a little bit, hopefully enough, who knows if I have properly. Now, I think these are from a guy called Iron Fist. His name is in German on YouTube, but um, I don't want to give it away completely because uh, I don't know if he'll like that. So he bought these from my Amazon wish list, which is incredibly kind. And on my Amazon wish list were two of these breadboards. 180 type in, are they, or something like that? I can't remember. Uh, or maybe 400. I can't, I don't know, it's a lot. Um, I'd used all of mine up making the damn <laughs> binary clock thing over there. Um, and so I've needed some more for a while. So thank you very much. It's very kind of you. Uh, so he's given me those two. And I think this is from him as well. But if it isn't, someone pipe in and tell me who it is from. Because um, they don't include a note when you get uh, the, um, the cheap Chinese sellers from Amazon. So this is a breadboard uh, jumper kit, I guess. I've never had one of these. I've always made use, use of those little uh, jumper wires that you get. So this is, uh, I know you can make them yourself, but honestly, you know what I'm like. Uh, I can't. Oh, it's taped shut. That's why I can't get into it. One. Cut towards yourself. Good idea, David. There we are. Let's have a little zoom in, shall we? And we can have a look at these. So yeah, these are little pre-cut jumper wires. In fact, let's have a little look at one. I've got 
mucky fingers, I'm afraid. It's because I was anonymizing those letters. I've got ink all over my fingers. So these should fit in standard spacing. Yeah, they do. Excellent. That's cool. Ah, oh, and they slot right in. So what I wanted to do, I mean, you've seen my tutorials before. Tutorials, let's say, whatever. The 4000 series series. Well, um, it's quite messy, isn't it? The, you've got breadboard wires all over the place. And I use, um, here are a couple. I use these type because they're really, really easy when you're prototyping just to throw that in, swap it around. You can reach all the way across on the breadboard and don't have to worry. But sometimes when you want to make it a bit more clear for someone else, it's easier to use this kind of thing. So I think I'll save these for when I want to demonstrate a circuit. Um, not that I often do that because really a lot of my stuff is just total garbage most of the time. Uh, but still, God, I can't get it out. There we go. Still, thank you very much. Really, really appreciate these. Um, it's going to be fun to play with. The other things I've got are pretty much to do with the 3D printer, I think. So let's have a little look in this. Uh, yeah, two times 3D printer MK10, whatever. One how something or other. These are going to be nozzles, hopefully. These aren't hardened nozzles. These are just your standard type of nozzle. Got like orange. I ate an orange earlier. <laughs> standard type of nozzle. So that'll be fine. Just needed a couple. We've, I've got... Um, my 3D printer's got exactly the same ones as this, but it, I thought it was blocked. It's not. It was just crap filament. So um, they're actually okay. It's just uh, I made a mistake when I was trying to fix the printer. Still, they're there. So if I need them, I've got them. Again, I thought the printer was blocked. So I bought these because <laughs> I thought I want to eliminate the idea that it is blocked. How does a, this thing open? Oh, there we go. These are um, sort of really tiny, very thin drill bits. And I was going to, and the advertisement claimed that the, you would use these for um, clearing clogs in, uh, in 3D printer nozzles. Um, and you've got 0 0.2 millimeters down here going all the way to 0 0.5 up here. And they're pretty fancy. I like them. I think I, I think I probably would try and use them, but um, we don't need them right now. So they're a little bit uh, out of place for now. But it's always good to have something extra. And then I think that's it, isn't it? There's one more, two more. Oh yeah, what's this? I'm not sure. Let's find out, shall we? This is. I don't know. Oh, okay. Yeah, I bought these as well. Let's let's uh, zoom in on these. <laughs> Not there. We go. I bought these as well. These are um, little rods for ramming up your three D printer nozzle. Where did those nozzles go? Let's do it now. So that oh, they're not a not really abrasive. It's like a pin. Oh god, I can't. Can't get it in. <laughs> Stop shaking hands. There we go. So it will just thread through the uh, the nozzle and you can clean it out a little bit. So just agitate any filament that's stuck in there. They're very sharp. Um, so that's what they are. Um, I just wanted to try a few different cleaning solutions. And then this is the last one, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay. These are kind of exciting. I think there should be some more on the way, but I'm not sure. Uh, I like LED stuff. Actually, you know, they're all in here. So these are from the same thing. So I like LED stuff and I wanted to get um, some of these things. Let's see if that can be focused any further. That's about as good as it's going to get. Let's get them out of the bag. These are 12 volt LED filaments. Now these are the kind of thing that you see in like 12 volt bulbs, but they are the raw raw filament. That sounds a bit wrong. What I mean is 
So they've not built it into a housing and had anything attached to it. So they're very quite silicon on the outside. Let's uh, focus in. There we go. They've got uh, silicon here. So like a covering. So I wonder whether they're just normal LEDs in there with a different colored covering. So one's meant to be warm white and one's meant to be bright white. But you can see that sticks. So yeah, interesting little things. And um, I look forward to using them. They are just 12 volts, so it means I can control them fairly easily. So it'd be, uh, it'd be interesting to play around with. Anyway, it's been a while since I've actually done an on-camera bit, uh, but I thought I would say hello because uh, it's been, been a little while. Uh, so thanks for watching. Um, if you've got any comments, I always love to hear them, so please do leave them down below. And if you've got any suggestions on the kit, where to get the PCBs uh, manufactured, OHH Park Up are amazing, but I don't know if they do like 20 boards or how much that might cost. Um, it'd be great to get it cheap enough so everyone can buy them. Um, I'd like to get the price to under £10 delivered, would be fantastic. I think at the moment the boards are going to cost, uh, the boards and the parts are going to come together to cost about £4.50, which is fairly expensive, but it's a short run of four, uh, sorry, short run of about 20, so, well, 23, including these. So yeah, it's going to be pricey, but I will do my very best to make it as cheap as possible. And again, I'm not going to be making a profit. Um, I will do my very best to keep any profit under £10 in total. Like I don't, I don't want to come away from this um, with more money than I'd spent on the project. Uh, I don't want to be out of pocket, mind, but uh, I'm going to just attempt to make it as cheap as possible. Because, you know, I'm competing in a Chinese market essentially for kits, aren't I? So. We'll see. All right. Well, thanks a lot. And I'll speak to you all soon.